Hello everyone, it's me. How you doing? I hope everything is okay. I hope everybody's doing well. And all this getting through this situation. Anyway, as you can see, I'm going to demonstrate another one of my new brand new toys. <laughs> I don't know how many I got, but I lost count. Anyway, uh, this is the 1987 Rudy Sarzo. This is the... Uh, can't see so good without my glasses. The B 70 RS base, other known as the Rudy Sarzo Slammer base. Uh, two pickups uh, has your volume for each uh, each pickup, tone control, and a blend, and a selector switch. It is a five way selector switch. It has a jack and a Jack on the side, which I like. Uh, set neck. Right through. Which is cool. You can put the strings through the back, which is great. As the, uh, the Moody Sawzo signature signature on it. Uh, they, they came in, uh, I think, like I said, the year to 1987. These also came in a one pickup version. In the same color. Uh, one pickup in the same color. They also came in white and red. So the same thing. And they also had another one, which this end was smaller and had a Rudy Sarzo model number right here, along with the signature and all that. Anyway, just got it. Uh, I may need to change the strings. I was fooling around with it. Pretty, very versatile. I just didn't want to waste time. Or I said, but I had to make a three week uh, video. Nobody wants to see that. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, show you, show you a little bit. All right, here we go. That's one sound. All right, let's see. Well, here we go. A little demonstration for you. Try and get a try and get a Rickenbacker sound out of it. Hold on. Oh, also forgot to say, it's passive active as well. Down is active, and up is passive. And I didn't uh, show that. People remember the 70s commercial of Foam and Edge? Foam. <laughs> edge. <laughs> Some people may may remember. The rest of you may think I'm out of my mind. But anyway, I'm not old. I'm vintage. Like this. It's a good thing. Anyway, here's a... I'm going to try and get a Rickenbacker sound out of it. I'm going to put on the... Let me see. Get the tone there. It's actually... A blender, it's sort of like a selector switch. It's weird. It's, it's so I call it two selector switches, but that is tone. Because listen, I don't know if you can hear the not passive. Hold on, when you put it on active, you can hear it. There you go. 
sort of like a wah. Pretty cool. But that's your tone. And then uh, you put it over here, you got your... Here you go, this is for your neck pickup. Now you have your put it here that's your that's your bridge pickup. There's your boat pickups right here. Actually, these are one, two. Yep, both pickups in this position. So you have your both. Tone different. much of a slapper but I tried you have that one and then you have your I'm just gonna do the basic. Like I said, I'll be here for three weeks, so to speak. Anyway, get the uh, idea idea it's pretty cool there you go. so let me see if I can get a record back or sound hold on out of this put it in the close to it anyway. Squire is gonna strike me, strike me with a bolt of lightning, or smack me, smack me around, and say, you screwed up. Anyway, uh, 
Let me see if I can get a little. Something like that. I haven't played in a long time, but you get what I mean. Anyway, that's a. Uh... I'm going to change the strings on it, but uh, other than that, I mean, it sounds great right out of the box. Very versatile instrument, uh, a lot of different sounds you can get out of it, you know. sounds as I said uh, for, the, for the money great sound uh, that's what, 
I mean, there's a lot more I could do, but I don't want to go on for another 10 minutes. I would have been 15 minutes doing this. So, I may not, ha may not have covered all the bases, but this is it. The 1987 Rudy Sawyer Slammer base. Okay, take care. Be safe, be well.